Hey guys, it's uh, Jordi at Carving Fusion here. I'm going to make this really fast and simple, okay? I have been um, requested from a lady. Her name's Janice. She lives in the United States of America. She is a school teacher. And she lives in Kansas City. Around the Kansas City area. She's requested that I make a video without me driving, dropping the F-bombs. So she can have a carving class for the children so I think that's a great honor and I would love to make a carving of a spirit nest box or birdhouse for you without trying to swear in it it's going to be real hard for me to give the measurements okay this is what I got here I'll take a screenshot of it okay and I'll post it at the end of the video there's lots of different formulas to, bird, to build birdhouses guys you know, a few people's asked me. This face is a lot thicker. This is two inches, okay? But I normally just do my faces in like fence boards. This is cedar. Use whatever kind of wood you have in your area that's the best rot resistant, right? This is normally one inch fence boards. So that's what the rest of the birdhouse is made out of. The only the face I'm doing on this one, because I'm keeping it myself, is two inch so I can make it thicker. The deeper you make your carvings, the better they're gonna look, okay? So I'm just going to show you one thing here. A normal birdhouse would just be cut right there, right? I extend, I get the bottom extended. My buddy made this for me. I get the bottoms extended so I can carve the beard, right? And the beard's going to wrap around here and his mouth's going to be there. So just remember when you make your birdhouse, get the formula off online. Extend your beard down. Like what is this? Um... Tape measure is not very good. Just extend your beard six, seven inches, five inches. You know what I mean? So that's how that's going to work. So I'm going to start carving without swearing. Then I got to make this video pretty quick because they get boring if they're too long. So let's carve this face. Okay, here, hold on. Let me put my um, phone in its holder. Okay. So the I got I have my friend put two screws in the front of the, the face so you can screw it on when you're done carving. It's easier to have it off when you're carving it. And then you can carve the sides once it's back on, right? And we're gonna carve the roof too. So these screw down, but I'm gonna pull these screws out. Don't forget where you put them, people. So I'm gonna take this off and put the birdhouse aside. Here's some holes in the back of the birdhouse too to screw it to wherever you're gonna put it. Okay, before you have to screw it in with screws before you put the face on. This is the face. So once again, guys, I have it. I have a formula template that I always use. I got a video of it online already. It's in my videos. You'll see a picture of a piece of paper with a wood spirit on it. Okay, so we'll draw our center line in. Okay, here is our center line. Okay. Big placement is a nose, so we want to have a little gap here for the mustache to come down, right? And use a pencil, guys, because you can erase the pencil. I'm just using a pen because I've done thousands of these wood spirits, and uh, I basically know my lines. But if you use a pencil, you'll be able to erase the pencils and redraw it in. And don't make your nose too big. If you make your nose too big, it's going to look like a funny guy. Okay, so one side of the nose will be right here. Okay, so we want to get this side of the nose and this side of the nose almost exactly the same, okay? So you can see those are pretty well the same. They look the same to me anyways. And the thing that you want to remember is you got to make this side of the nostril and this side of the nostril the same size, right? This size to that size because if you don't, you're going to have one big mustache and one real thin mustache, okay? And try and make the pitch, which is this, the same on both sides too. Just make them both equal. And then you can do, once these are equal, then you can do whatever you want to do, okay? So this is, we're going to do a simple uh, mustache. Okay. Bring it around. Okay. So then we're going to start our mustache off from down here, from the bottom of the mouth. 
try and do this the same lines too so your mustache is the same thickness see how this one's see how they don't look even and this one's thinner because I didn't put this line far enough on the outside so let's just bring it out here a bit more and then just just to do your eyes just do them straight across for now if you want right so there's your eyes okay and are we gonna give this guy a forehead I think so I think this carving is deep enough this board is deep enough to give him a carving uh, forehead okay so there we go your bottom lips gonna be right here so you're, you're gonna carve and when I do my beginning carvings guys with my I use it another thing I use a Dremel flex shaft it doesn't have to be a Dremel guys you can use a when rotary tool or any kind of when rotary, rotary tool it doesn't have to be a flex shaft just pick up a cheap rotary tool and just start carving but these bits are important to me okay these these are the bits that I myself like using their cut saws this is a quarter uh, sorry a 1 8 carving burr it's an extreme 1 8 flame carving burr there's going to be a link down below in my descriptions of to take you to the website where these burrs are they're not that cheap I think they're like 20 something bucks each but they last a long time and they're very durable okay and if you use the code C fusion for carving fusion C fusion you can save 5% too okay so here's a smaller Dremel flex shaft I'm gonna be using and to do my bigger carving to, to carve things out I'm gonna use the, the 1 8 extreme burr on my uh, Fordham flex shaft okay but we're not going to go there today let's just concentrate on the Dremel okay so I'm going to carve all when I start carving I'm going to carve all on the outside of my lines carve out your whole template everything I'm going to just carve it all out you see how that's thicker than that so we're going to make an adjustment right here before we start carving okay the lengths don't matter really I think just that the, the more equal that they are the same on each side the better your piece is going to look so, and I'm going to carve all straight down not on an angle like this like this but straight up on down on the outsides of my lines everything okay everything here here you'll see and then I have my template carved out Okay guys, you can see I brought out my bigger Fordham flex shaft to uh, get rid of some bulk material really quick. I rounded off these edges so the beard flows nice and smooth down onto the back side of the birdhouse. So what I'm going to do now, you got to try and remember not to interfere with this piece, this side too much because it might interfere with how it will go on the birdhouse. You know. There's, there's nothing wrong with some gaps up there anyways because it will give the birds breathing holes for their for their for their nest box right but I don't want to carve this any shallower in in this way because then you'll have a gap there it might look funny so I'm not going to carve this too much deeper here hmm I never looked at it this way okay so anyways I'm going to carve all this deeper down here and I'll cut the forehead back. I'll cut all this 
So your eyebrows will be here. I'll cut all this lower on an angle like this. So your so so your eyebrows are raised higher, and we'll try and I gotta cut all these cheekbones down too. So your eyebrows are the highest part off the piece. Then your nose is just a little bit higher than your eyebrows. Okay, if that's making any sense. So I'm not going to carve any deeper along these sides here. And if I do, well, things happen. Okay guys, so there's me carving. Now you see how the nose is raised up a bit? I could take this mustache down a lot, mustache down a lot more too. I think I might do that, so that means I have to carve everything thinner. I won't do that on film though, because I don't want to confuse you guys, okay? So I made a mistake on saying something in my last video too. It doesn't matter if you carve lower here too, because I still got that much wood to go up the side, if that makes sense to you, right? Like I can even cut it right to there, and that would still be smooth on the, on there, you know what I mean? It would still look smooth as a whole. Okay, so I'm going to do some quick carving here just to uh, fine tune some things. I'm not going to film it, and... Um, yeah, and then we'll uh, I'll come back and we'll talk more about the uh, the nest box. Okay guys, so I got uh, lots of it roughed out and rounded out. Don't think yours needs to look like mine guys, you know, we all have our own style so you'll find yours. I started carving into the nose to get the nostrils, but I remember I should uh, stop and do this for, uh, for a recording. So you guys can see how I do it anyways. So center line guys, woo, put your center line in. One nostril, try and make them the same. So what I do, I cut on the outside of my nostril line and cut this away and, th and thin the bridge out, right? And then cut down here in between the eyebrows to make the eyebrows seem raised up, okay? So don't forget, we still got to put our bottom lip in. So there's our bottom lip, okay? 
and I'm going to cut on the, this side of the line, okay? And I'm going to, so his lips, I'm going to cut here, so his lip is raised up, higher than this point. Okay, we still need to put his nostrils in, maybe cut this down a bit deeper here, make it kind of like bowed up like a real mustache. And I'm not too sure if we're going to give this guy real eyes or not, my kind of eyes. So... Okay guys, you can see there I got most of my rough uh, carving done. See it's still pretty tight on the edges there. Kind of looks like he's wearing a helmet or something. I could always cut that back, make it look like that. Um, I got his cheekbones placed there. So now what I'm going to do is start carving, cur carving in my uh, whiskers, beard hairs. Okay, so 
Ah, sometimes this stuff's hard to explain. You got to remember, his his beard hairs are going to be wrapping around the side here, okay? Right from up here, wrapping down the side of the birdhouse, all wrapping around. So remember that when I when I carve the whiskers. I'm going to have this screwed in place so when I carve everything, it all matches up, okay? I think. So, now, I'm going to carve his eyebrows in. I kind of do like Japanese style, like uh, Oni, Oni Devil eyebrows. They're good devils, guys, I think. So, I just kind of go like this. Carve here, carve here, and I, I feather it out. That's just my own preference for the eyebrows, guys. I'm not 100% certain about eyeballs yet. I think he needs them. Try and make them the same size, guys. I'm happy with the way it's turning out. You guys, be creative. You got to open your mind. You know what I mean? Open those minds, guys. Get those, get those brain cells working. You know what I mean? Do it for yourself. Love it. Uh, this guy's going in my front yard if his eyes turn out. My camera stopped when I was filming there, but you can see I got my eyes, eyeballs cut in, I got my nostrils cut in. You know, don't follow my eyes, guys. There's different ways to do 
All right, so I've kind of just learnt my own. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out this uh, cut saw bit and use this uh, roto zip to do the hairs. It does fine, fine detail uh, hairs, guys. I bought this uh, four for forty bucks at Home Depot. I don't know. You go to your major um, major appliance place. They'll probably sell them. It's a wall wall tile cutter, right? These were by the Dremel section too. So there's a roto zip tool, but this is the bit. I'm gonna carve in. This takes a long time, so I'm gonna carve in all the hairs. I'll do a quick little video on it, and then I'll stop it because it's gonna take me like an hour to do this. That's how easy it is to switch it over in the Dremel tools, guys. Hit the button, lock it up, get a wrench, turn it out, pull the piece in, put a, put a new piece in, good to go. So let's see here. Oh yeah, this guy's, I'm keeping this guy. Yeah, old Japanese guy, eh? That's why I call my channel Carving Fusion because, uh, I love Japanese themed uh, carvings like the dragons and their Buddhas and all the temples and stuff like that. So I'm Canadian so I call it Carving Fusion because I want to mix all the different um, cultures into one carving, you know what I mean? If I want to try and carve a native uh, eagle, I'll do it. And a Buddha mixed in with the eagle. Once I get to that point and I think I'm good enough, I'm going to try it. Why not? Who's Who's there to stop me besides the haters? Love the haters!
Hey Janice, <clears throat> um, excuse me, I'm not gonna lie. These birdhouses are a lot of work, boy. Well, if you got the thicker front face anyway, so maybe just stick with the thin uh, fence board. Okay, so I got all those whiskers cut in. Now I'm gonna screw this on here, okay? And I'm gonna carve the side whiskers so you, the beard's wrapping around, okay? So I'm gonna have a break and that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna carve the guy, the, I'm gonna carve the side whiskers in people. Yep, both sides. What do you say about that? Hey guys, I jumped ahead of myself in the last uh, thing. So I'm gonna take the face off, put it aside, and now I'm gonna carve the roof, okay? Make it look like an old kind of cottage thing. I just do some lines like this, and then carve it, ah. I don't really enjoy doing the roofs either. These bird houses are a lot of work, or nest boxes I need. So same on the other side. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, give it the rip. So I'm gonna cut when I cut these lines, I'm gonna cut the bottom of this line, right? I'm gonna cut deep in there and not cut here, and so it makes it look like it's raised up. Just like a shingle effect. You know like roof shingles. You know what I mean? So this side, I'm gonna cut all this out, cut all this out, cut all this out, so you, it's, so it's raised. So this is gonna be raised, overlapping this. This is gonna be raised, overlapping this, and same for the both sides. So I don't think I need to film me doing that. And then I cut deep into here, so this looks raised too. With my, uh, I'll just be using the Ford. Uh, sorry, the the cuts all bit on the Dremel. Flex shaft. So I'll cut all under here. <whistles> then feather it out. So you make your cut mark deep in there to about, I'll cut about that deep in here, all the way down. And then I'll feather it out so it looks like a smooth transition. You don't see a cut mark in there, right? Like a big lip. I'll take that lip and I'll cut it all out.
Okay, so I got the face screwed back on. I got the roof carved in. You see how this is high and this is low? Then I'm gonna get my torch and burn under here, outside. Okay, so it makes it seem like this is higher. It gives it a shadow effect. And uh, she's almost done. Oh, before I screw the face back on, I uh, carve these whiskers quickly in too. So I'm just gonna quickly use my um, burr and carve these so they, so they match. Same with the other side. So let's let me turn the dust collector fan on. We'll do that quick. Yeah, I'm gonna take this outside now and I'm gonna burn all under here with this little propane torch. You can use whatever you want. Um, I need to forget the name of the things, but you can find it like Canadian Tire, your big uh, stores that you got there in the States. So yeah, I'll do that and then I'll be back. And I'm gonna just slightly touch everything, get rid of all the fuzzies. The torches burn away the fuzzies like um, you see in there, it's a little bit fuzzy. Just lightly touch it with the torch. Okay, I took it outside, did some light burning on the beard to get in the mustache, the mustache and the beard to get rid of the little fuzzies in there. There still is some, but no big deal. It's an outdoor piece anyways. You can still see some of my cut, lots of my cut marks on the roof, but it doesn't matter. It's the roof. It will all add character. It's an outdoor piece anyways. So I kind of carved that down. I don't know if it looks like a little cap, whatever. So what I'm going to do now, is I've got some cheap dollar store paint or whatever kind of paint, Craft Smart paint, black. And I'm just going to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, put in there, dollar, dollar store throwaway brush. I've got the black on the brush. I'm just going to paint in the nostrils. Okay. And paint in the nostrils. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just put a little bit of paint in the, in the pupils of the eyes. Don't worry about getting this part perfect. That light's bright right in my face. Get a little turn in there. Like I said, whatever. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Maybe just a bit of paint here. Use your finger, blend it in or do whatever. What's it called? Dry stroking? Dry stroke? Yeah, you see different missed parts when you're in different parts of the lighting, right? Lighting's important, people. Okay. We're friggin' done. We are friggin' done. Whew. It's about two hour carving for me. Because it was so deep, right? Uh, there's another guy that made, gave me the idea. He sent one of his um, spirit boxes on. Uh, it was on the new the new YouTube the new. Jeez, ah, it was on the new carvers video spirit carvers, and he used the thicker two inch um, wood. So here's a shout out to you. I forget your name. Don't want to be rude, but oh, this is a mess. Look at all this sawdust. That's the thing about how all the sawdust got sucked into the table too. I have videos on my dust collector table, guys. It's in my earlier videos. So here it is. Let's see if it stand up. And it even stands up. It's old Japanese spirit wizard box. Nest box. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Janice. Uh, I think this might be a little, this one might be a little bit tough for the kids. But, you know, maybe you can start off making spoons or whatever. Uh, I was happy to think about uh, 
about uh, when my childhood when I made this video doing the carving. I just thought about when I was younger and stuff like that. And I was always the kid that um, had to stand in the corner for being bad. For being a bad boy. Anyways, this is probably going to be like an hour long video. I'm going to make it all into one video. And I uh, hope this helps somebody out there. And I hope everybody's doing great. And uh, I'm not going to treat this with anything, right? Because if you treat it, the wood, the birds are going to smell it, the treatment. You're going to have to let it sit for a couple of years before birds will probably want to even move in there. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Color done. There you go, my friend that made me this birdhouse box, this nest box. Thank you very much for uh, making it for me. This is going to be the last one that I carve because this sucker is going in my front yard. I'm going to have to get a 2x4 cedar pole and carve that too so I can get the and screw it to the fence and get the birdhouse way up there so my cat doesn't eat all the birds. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wicked. Uh, welcome to my home, birdies. Welcome to my home. Meow. Hey, Lee. Hey.